the rest of the story. Welcome back. So a lot of people uh, like our channel because we tell the rest of the story and uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to give you the rest of the story on uh, what's going on here in uh, Norway. <clears throat> now it's interesting, we're going to go to the JW Org site because they talk about Norway as well. And uh, if I was a, still a Jehovah's Witness, I would only be able to look at their site when it comes to news. I would, I would have to say that anything beyond their site would be inspired by the devil. It's slanted. The apostates are doing it. But uh, this is real news. We're going to look at it. We're going to look at both sides. And so you can see what's happening with the rest of the story with Norway what other newscasts uh, writers are saying. So uh, let's, let's move on. Jehovah's Witnesses demand 35 million in state subsidies. That's a headline we went with. Now, if you uh, go to JW Org, which, which is right here. Now, if you go to JW.org, here we are. I just plugged in Norway and uh, you hit the search for Norway. Norway latest news. You see that right there? So we're going to go in there. Norway. And this is, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, this is about all you would do is look at this, this newscast to see what's going on. You, you'd look here because you'd look on the internet perhaps and you'd see us guys talking about Norway. And so I like to show both. Might as well show it right from the Jehovah's Witness site. Norway court grants Jehovah's Witness request to suspend deregistration. That's the first thing that comes up, that they grant this request. Well, <clears throat> I'm sure we've done the article on this and this has already went to court and it's denied. So, but let's see what they say. They say on December 30th, 2022, the Oslo District Court granted our brothers request for a temporary injunction to suspend the government's attempts to deregister Jehovah's Witnesses as a religious community in Norway. And this became necessary because the county governor of Ols Oslo, and Vicken announced her decision to revoke our national registration. See, they made it personal here. <laughs> and her decision. Do you notice that? That's making it personal. Like, this is the court. This is not a woman in court. Why, why would they need to put that in their article? I'll let you decide. Um, yeah, her decision to revoke our national registration. So this woman in the Oslo court has, well, she doesn't have balls, but she has the vedacity to reject our, <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm reading here, guys. Uh, okay, <clears throat> attempt. So this became necessary because the county governor of Oslo and Viken announced her decision to revoke our national uh, registration. The injunction allows us to keep our registration until the matter is further considered by the court. And the Minister of Children and Families is challenging our injunction. So they're, they're pointing the minute the, those guys out. They're bad too. So there's the old branch office in Norway, I guess. <clears throat> it was a remote translation office, theocratic school facility. The complex was used as the Norway branch office until 2012 when the work in Norway came under supervision of the Scandinavian branch located in Denmark. So now we go on here in the Jehovah's Witness uh, site. The district court's injunction has immediate benefits for our brothers and sisters, including several engaged couples. In Norway, the government only appoints religious weddings of officiants from registered religious communities. When the governments announced that it would be deregistering Jehovah's Witnesses, it meant that witnesses' officiants would lose their appointments and authorization. However, the injunction now allows engaged couples to be married at the local kingdom hall and have one of Jehovah's Witnesses perform the ceremony. And then it gives us example, blur brother so-and-so <clears throat> talks about it. We'll skip through that part. 
So here it says prior to Norway's decision to deregister Jehovah's Witnesses, the government denied us the right to state grants, which we had received for more than 30 years. State grants. You see, guys, the, these charity religions are costing our countries millions upon millions of dollars. And so if they're not real charities like James, the, you know, they're using the Holy Bible. That's what they're using. So if we go to the Holy Bible, James chapter 1, verse 27, it says, A religion that is pure and undefiled before our God is one that looks after and cares for orphans and widows. And this religion does not do that. There's other religions that have orphanages and uh, they help people. And they have uh, soup kitchens. But this religion does not do that. It prints literature. It goes out and hands out literature. And literature isn't going to feed people. It's not going to help people. So, so this religion does a number of other bad things. It doesn't do anything good, but it does a number of bad things. It doesn't plant trees for all the millions of trees it knocks down. Uh, it doesn't replenish the earth in any way whatsoever for all the gasoline carbon that goes into the air from them preaching door to door for a hundred years. No, they haven't helped the earth. So they depleted our earth. So that's why these grants, uh, they offer financial assistance that governments distribute over 700 regis registered religious denominations in the country. On December 21st, 2022, Jehovah's Witnesses filed a lawsuit against the Norwegian government challenging the denial of state grants. So they want money. And there's millions of dollars going to these churches, but they're not helping. And what we're fighting for in, in this video, if you look in the bottom in the descriptions, we have a petition here in Canada to cancel Jehovah's Witnesses as a charity, just like Norway, because of shunning, because of some of their policies, their two-witness rule, hiding, hiding pedophiles within the congregation. These are reasons that countries no longer want to tolerate these types of religions. I've been shunned personally for no reason at all. And I've asked and asked i've even uh, you know anyways they've given me a, a cease and desist they don't want to talk to me but yet they want to shun me advertise that advocate it slander your name and and this is what this religion does it teaches my kids not to talk to me and this has to stop this is not a religion it is a high control bite model cult so now the Norway, the government of Norway objects to our scriptural beliefs and practices regarding disfellowshipping. Well, of course, it is solitary confinement for life. That's why. And uh, so many of us on this side of the fence that have been in the religion for most of our lives, I was in it for 30 years, we can attest to what disfellowshipping does. The harm of disfellowshipping, it causes PSTD, complex versions. There's lots of suicides, lots of problems. These are studies that are just happening all over the world. The studies are coming out and the governments are acting on it because we as a citizens no longer want these cults operating and, and us, our taxes paying for this. So we want this to stop. So the government went so far as to require that Jehovah's Witnesses change their disfellowshipping arrangement in order to keep their registration. This is on their site. The actions against Jehovah's Witnesses are not based on any expert opinion or court decision. Well, you know what? That's coming. So be careful what you wish for, Jehovah's Witnesses. The governor stated that the loss of registration does not hinder religious freedom. It does. Uh, or it doesn't. No. They can, they can go out door to door. They just lose all the charity money. And uh, when I was in the religion, they wouldn't allow me to get married at the Kingdom Hall. And I was marrying another Jehovah's Witness. So, uh, yeah, they, uh, they can make rules. I had to go down to the Justice of the Peace. So they can do that now, too. They can go to the Justice of the Peace. And you can go back and have a ceremony at the Kingdom Hall, you know, your wedding dance. But uh, they lost the, uh, the registration to be able to marry. And they don't deserve it because they're not an upstanding religion. They shun and uh, they slander people for life. And then they propagate that to children and kids. And that's the worst part of it. So it says here in their article, but in similar cases involving the denial of registration of our organization, the European Court of Human Rights has ruled that these represented a violation of the religious freedom of Jehovah's Witnesses. So that's what they're saying. They give a case study. <clears throat> and uh, 
we, we may look at that on another study, uh, but they're using um, a, a, a fella on their site. I forget his name. Uh, I'm just going to pause it here. Okay, so this is right from the Jehovah's Witness website. Uh, you just plug in uh, Dr. Massimo Intravene. And if you haven't heard of this guy, well, the Jehovah's Witnesses are using the, this guy to help them. Um, and you can watch a little video on this. I showed this on one of my other programs. Okay, if, you, if you're wondering who is this guy, well, let's go back to that Norwegian thing. Well, they're using uh, uh, some of these human rights experts. This guy's a, is supposed to be a human rights expert or some expert on... Well, we're going to look at what he's an expert on. But uh, they go to talk about, uh, you know, they're fighting. They don't say much in this article. Brother Jordan Peterson, a member of the branch, states they have been peaceful worshippers in Norway for more than 130 years. It's, it's not about worshipping God. That's not why the countries are upset. They're upset about shunning, uh, abuse to children, children shunning parents. Why are children shunning parents? I, I have two kids that shun me. I haven't talked to them for two years. So I, I asked that to the Watchtower. I, I've never been disfellowshipped. I walked away. I wrote the Watchtower branch a seven-page letter explaining my grief. And uh, so today I have an RCMP project open on the Watchtower for shunning for a number of things that I can't reveal yet. But here in Canada, uh, if you're Norwegian, you have any uh, ideas how you got this before the government, we are working on the same thing here in Canada, to stop any religion that abuses children, teaches children to shun their parents. Religions that teach children to shun their parents, break up families, these are not religions, folks. These are cults. Now, we're going to show you why it's a cult. Uh, Dr. Massimo, here's the Jehovah's Witness uh, guy that they've hired. If you're contributing to the Jehovah's Witnesses, you're paying this guy's wage. And who is he? Go to Wikipedia. Oh yeah, they don't let you go to Wikipedia. I can. I am no longer a Jehovah's Witness, so I'm, I'm looking at Wikipedia. He's in there. Uh, if it's wrong, he can correct it. Wikipedia is pretty trusted. It says Mass Massimo Intravene, born June 14th in Rome, is an Italian Roman Catholic sociologist of religion. He's like a Scientologist of religion. Sociologist of religion an intellectual property attorney. So he's a lawyer. Uh, he's about land and accumulating land. Uh, intellectual property would mean owning stuff, copyrights. Uh, he's a founder, managed director of the Center for Studies on New Religions, a Turin-based organization, which has been described as the highest profile lobbying and information group for controversial groups. So he specializes in stuff for controversial groups. Now, let's go a little further. <clears throat> he wrote a book here, The Church of Scientology. Uh, he does work for the Church of Scientology. He wrote a book on it, makes money on it. Here's another one. The Cult of Cult Apologists, Massimo Intravini, Part 1. So here's this explains him nicely. Uh, the Scientology Money Project has undertaken a new series called The Cult of Cult Apologists. Our thesis is that the cult of cult apologists is an organized long-term effort by scholars working in the service of cults in order to change perceptions about how these groups are, are viewed by governments, acad academics, law enforcement, and public. And this effort has a public-facing side and a more private and covert side. We discuss some of these scholars in their work, examine evidence, and offer some glimpses into the money trail. And we also discuss the results these scholars have produced over time for their clientele. So there's a lot of studies going into these cult of cult apologists. That's what we're dealing with. This is the guy that Watchtower hires. It costs them lots of money. They have to hire him because Norway views uh, this religion as a cult. It's no longer a religion, no longer granted to charity and this is what we're shooting for as ex jehovah's witnesses we come out we're the closest we've bought a lot of these kingdom walls we've i've dedicated 30 years of my life my finances giving everything i have to the watchtower so so we have ownership in the watchtower we come out we wake up we 
can speak out with experience. So this is why we're doing it. This is why there's many of us online uh, doing the work that we're doing. Now, I want to give you the rest of the story on this. You've just seen the Watchtower part of it. And I read you the Massimo, give you a little history on, on their guy, their, their go-to guy to help them make their cult a religion. Well, here's what the newspapers think of all of this. This is a uh, uh, fairly recent news. Um, do I have the date here? I don't see it here, but it's, it's fairly new news. Just got released here, put on my desk yesterday. <clears throat> now, I think this news comes from watching the Watchtower. Thank you very much to watching the Watchtower. So this is the headline I went with. Jehovah's Witnesses demand 35 million in state subsidies. So last year, Jehovah's Witnesses were deprived of state subsidies for 2021 and their registration as a religious community in Norway. So they demand in Norway dollars 35 million in support for the last two years. So, so you see, religions are getting support and they're not helping our charities. They're not helping our communities. They're, they're, they're polluting the earth, cutting trees down, and uh, they're a nuisance. They knock at our doors Saturday mornings when we want to sleep in after working all week, and we don't need that. So uh, it was last year uh, that it became known that Jehovah's Witnesses lost both state subsidies for 2021 and registration as a religious community. However, Jehovah's Witnesses disagree with that decision. We are convinced that Jehovah's Witnesses meet all legal requirements, this is what they're saying, to receive state subsidies, and that is the reason why we have applied for state subsidies. Also for 22, 23, writes Fabian Fawn, spokesperson for Jehovah's Witnesses Information Department in Scandinavia, in an email to our country. In total, they believe they are entitled to approximately 35 million for 2022 and 2023. That's what the Jehovah's Witnesses are asking for. Their reasoning is that Jehovah's Witnesses were registered as a religious community at the time they applied for the support. And according to the Religious Communities Act, only registered religious communities can request state subsidies. So the uh, states and communities and countries have a right to say, okay, here's qualifications. You know, even if they, they were registered before, we all have a right as citizens to, to request better charity standards. Uh, so, so that's what Norway did. They said, here's our charity standards. You've got to be uh, good to children. You gotta, you know, it's got to be, meet these guidelines. This disfellowshipping thing has to go. So this all went to court. They fought it back and forth, spent probably millions of dollars on court because this went on for years. And Jehovah's Witnesses uh, have the same argument over and over again. We just follow the Bible. We're God's chosen people, but they don't say that in court. They're afraid to say that in court because they'll be looked at as, as narcissists, who they really are. So Jeff, guys like Jeffrey Jackson in the Australian Commission gets up and lies and say, yeah, it'd be presumptuous uh, for, for us to say that we're God's only representative. You know, he, that's what he said. It's a liar because they think they're the faithful slave for the whole earth. They, they think it's them. Everything's funneled to them. But they're afraid to say this in court because they'll probably be locked up for a bunch of narcissist uh, guys that are idiots. And you see, they, they use this Dr. Massimo, this, this cult of cult apologists, to get him out. And he, he started the bitter winter and he runs articles. So, so Jehovah's Witnesses are a cult. You know, they're in with Scientology. So how, as a Jehovah's Witness, can you go door to door and say, yeah, Scientologists are cults. These guys are cults when you're person that you've hired to fight you in Norway is a cult fighter for cults. So it's quite obvious for it should be to Jehovah's Witnesses that they're in a cult and, and there's there's no excuses. You're, you're, you're in a cult. So um, anyways, this article says uh, their reasoning is that they, they were registered as a group and they figured they should get the money. Uh, the religious community is also chosen to take religion, legal action against the state. So, so Jehovah's Witnesses have all, all taken legal action against the state. You see, they, they're not saying that in their on-site article. These guys are, all they're doing is going to court, uh, lying to the courts, and then uh, motion after motion after motion, they're fighting the courts. 
So this is finally going to take place. There's a trial that will take place in Oslo District Court in January 2024. So that's coming up. That's only a few months away, folks. And uh, we'll be following that closely to let you know what happens. So this will be their last chance at court. And uh, it'll be interesting. So that's, that's it for, the, uh, for this news on uh, Norway, what's going on in Norway. They're in court. So there's kind of two sets of news there. There's the Jehovah's Witness news, and then there's the real news. So you can choose which one you want to believe, but uh, we'll be following it. And uh, until next time, keep living your life with love. Bye for now. Oh, hello. My name is Vern. Join the channel. We cover JW World News, and we give you the rest of the story. Today, we're going to the Watchtower, and we have lives on Tuesday nights and Saturdays, and an excellent community. So join the channel, and watch as we crash into the Watchtower. Here it is, I see it coming. Woo! As we report in on the Watchtower.